Now, Vicky and I both get asked constantly about what is the right shoe, and especially for a beginner. Now, Vicky is by no means a beginner, but we're going to demonstrate the fitting and breaking in the shoes on her feet. Now, every brand of point shoes usually has a style that they advise as a beginner yeah. shoe. The things that we want to be thinking about is that the shank is quite supple. Because you'll be doing most of the work supported at the bar, we really want to be able to work through the high three-quarter point rather than having a very stiff shank. Some people think that a beginner should have a much firmer, supportive shank, but yeah. we both would rather that they stayed at the bar until they have the strength to really control their foot in the shoe. This really helps develop the strength needed to perform safely on point. The other thing that I want you to think about when you're fitting the shoes is that the wing or this stiffened part of the shoe comes up to the level of the big toe. Some people have it a little bit shorter and it tends to pull in and cut in under the big toe joint. This can create quite a nasty red lump through here and can accelerate bunions if the dancer has a predisposition yeah. for those and it can be quite uncomfortable. Absolutely, yeah. 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 When we're looking at the fit, if we just go into parallel, mm -hmm. We do want to make sure that the width of the foot, uh, width of the shoe is okay. Obviously, if it's too wide, we'll end up sliding down into the shoe, but if it's too narrow, it can be quite uncomfortable. A good way to check this is just to check that you can squeeze your finger in just up to the first knuckle when your foot is flat down. You shouldn't be able to slide it all the way through to the end, but you also shouldn't have any skin bulging up the top here. Just jump up into standing. Yep. For the length of the shoe, if we go into a plie in second, you, this is where your foot is at its longest. So when you're in a plie, you want your tips of your toes just to touch the end, but with no clawing in the shoe. Yep. If it's clawing at this stage, then when you go up, there's going to be a lot of pressure and you won't actually be able to work those toes as we would like. Then just place the foot on point in okay. parallel. Okay. Yep. And we just want to check the shape through here and make sure that the shoe can sit nice and flush with the foot. Now, if you notice any twisting, there are a couple of reasons that that may be. It may be that the foot is twisting in the shoe. It can sometimes be a design fault in the shoe because point shoes are made individually. Sometimes they can have a slightly different shape, so you may just need to try another one of the same shoe. But also, if you haven't yet broken in the shank and the, the shank is still very stiff, this can make it kick off the back of the heel. So just make sure that it's sitting nicely through here and that when you press down with the foot, the foot doesn't slide down and create too much gaping at the back of the heel.